Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Blackpool and Beyond. How are you lovely people? Anyway, we're on Wednesday, 31st of August, it's about half past six at night. And we're just going to go for a walk. It's nice out there, doesn't it? Absolutely spot on. You have another quick glance, we'll start walking. Anyway, last night we had in Blackpool along the promenade from Bispen right down to Stargate was Ride the Lights, but I couldn't do it because I was working. I did do it last year, but I can't, I couldn't do it this year. But tonight is different again, it's called Walk the Lights, so they're having Walk the Lights tonight. Um, I'm going to just walk down the promenade towards Blackpool Football Club and uh, see what's going on down there because Blackpool's playing Blackburn Rovers. So I thought it's a nice mild evening, you can hear there's no wind on my camera. So I thought let's go for a walk as I'm not working. So that's the plan tonight. I'll probably spoil the surprise because I told you where we're going but uh, anyway I know a lot of people are interested I don't know what I'm going to say I don't know if there's going to be many away supporters here from Blackburn tonight but nevertheless it's a video combining quite a few things so hope you enjoy this one Starting to close all the roads off again that like I did last night so people can walk the lights. I've come out of too much clothing on, I haven't got a coat on, but I've got a like a tracksuit top on if you want. I feel out already. But yeah, just at North Prom at the moment. No, I'm not running. Show you round. Oh, it's so mild here tonight. I don't know if it's like where you are. We've got some new illuminations as well along here that you've possibly seen. And uh, I'll show you them anyway later on when it's all lit up. Yeah, we got our switch on Friday night, so we haven't got long there now before we switch on. Oh, music suddenly stopped. There's always music playing in Blackpool. And then you get done for the copyright of it all. It wasn't that long ago, somebody said, why do you always moan about music? He said, because they're the copyright. You don't like it, you see on YouTube. But yeah, they look, they're closing all the road off now already. It's quite a long way, walk the lights. So we had ride the lights last night, and now it's walk. Don't fancy that at all. Yeah, so we're heading towards Blackpool Football Club, down towards uh, the Manchester pub. We'll have a little walk around Foxwell area, see if we can see some football supporters singing and drinking and enjoying themselves. All this work they do. Don't stop in Blackpool. All year round there's something going on. Hello. 
here's the main headlands there. So this is the main focal point where the switch on will be. Oh, here comes the music again. Here comes the music again. And the tram's coming again. It's down, it's walk the lights. It's run the lights. I'll tell you what, I'm losing the plot. Yes, it's run the lights tonight. So people get all badged up with numbers and they run the lights. Of course you can walk the lights if you want. I don't know what made me say it's walk the lights. Probably say till tomorrow for most people to walk the lights. I'm not sure where I got that from, so I do apologise. Yeah, run the lights. I'm oh, glad I've corrected myself there. What an idiot I am. Oh, well, I've always got so much on my mind all the time. Gary Kalita there. It's quite a few miles from Stargate to Bispam. There'll be some fast runners, some slow runners. There will be walkers, like I said to you. You know, during the summer holidays, to close, to close off a promenade that's full of oddly makers, full of traffic, there's a lot of organisation goes into it without a doubt. God, it's so warm here tonight with this top on. I feel like a 52 plate transit van on an MOT ramp at the moment. Yeah, sweating. Show you around here, rather oh, than constantly walking. Yeah, just up my central pier now. So this run the lights from Stargate up to Bispam is 6.2 miles. Yeah, there'll be people running it in very fast times and there'll be walkers as well and joggers. So it's for everybody, it's not just for the elite athlete. Athlete. Yeah, it's for everybody. But yeah, 6.2 miles. I used to do half marathons years ago. And 10 mile runs, I've never done a full marathon, but I used to do half marathons. So old to start again now. Yes, yeah, so we're just at Central Pier now. All the traffic by being diverted. Bit by bit and then whatever time it starts, the rest of the traffic from right down the bottom of Stargate past the Pleasure Beach, which you can see there, right up to Bispam, the road will be closed. Anyway, we're going to go off the promenade now and have a little walk around the Foxhill area. This might be a bit of a long video again, but I know you guys like a long video. Yeah, we're in Foxhill now. Do you remember I mentioned this to you, the Ardwick? They've actually put their beer up now. Foster's... John Smith's and Strongwell, 180 a pint, 180 a pint. It was 170 for a long, long time. But yeah, they put it up to 180. Worth a visit in there, great football pub, great big football screens in there. Great big football screens in there. A fantastic garden with TV screens outside as well. So yeah, I have mentioned it before, but the Ardwick. So they put the pints up to 180, but that is still a good price. And I know it's a good point in there as well. Anyway, anyone that hasn't been down this Foxhill area with me, if you don't know it, well, it's a bit of a good, bad and ugly, if you want to know the truth. Two or three good pubs, including this Lifeboat Inn. Fantastic little pub, this Lifeboat Inn. Great karaoke. Good prices as well. Music playing. Music playing again. <laughs> Yeah, you want to get in here as well. Worth a visit in here. The lifeboat in. 
Yeah, that's Mark Kelly's there. Uh, Mark Kelly Central. I've never come down to look at. Uh, I've only ever done three of these football ones. I've done Derby the end of last season, Glasgow Rangers, which is a friendly, and I say now we got Blackburn. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Back on the promenade. <laughs> yeah, so I wander down here then. In the distance, uh, you can probably see the Manchester pub. That's generally where all the away supporters go. I might be too early for it, but I'm just going to sit down here anyway and relax. I certainly won't want to live down here. <laughs> if you look back on my other videos, when I've done the Derby what Road, and they all come out the pub and walk down here to do, the police guide them down this road. My God, no, I won't want to live down here. Blackburn Rovers end and have a look down there. Yeah, so we've arrived at the Manchester pub where all the away supporters for Blackpool football games go. So, yeah, there's quite a big crowd in there. I can hear them singing in there, but none outside. But they will come outside in time. I'm not going in because I won't be able to move. But yeah, Manchester pub. Blackburn Rovers playing Blackpool tonight. Let's so have a look around, show you where we are. In context, the central pier over there on the left hand side. And the tower. So I think I'm just going to go across the road now, sit down on the grass for a bit, and then once we get a bigger crowd in, I can go over there. Yeah, I don't know what time we're on at the moment. Yeah, you see, it's only 10 to 7. Just gone 10 to 7. Right, let's take you across the road. Get up on that bank and show you some of the view over the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so this is all the Blackburn Rovers fans entrance where they are going in now. Yeah, so we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed that. Just to show you what goes on around the Blackpool football ground when we've got a game on. So yeah, we'll just head back along towards the promenade area now. Yeah, so we're just heading back onto the promenade now. So going against the away supporters now. Show you another angle. Good to see a mix of all age supporters, all mixing to a degree. Well policed as well. That's a good. And this is where they stop them and make them go down this way. So yeah back on the front now for those of you not into football crowds and football supporters I do apologize but it's all about people watching to me no matter what you're doing back on the car, bit of a breeze can you hear it all so we're going to walk up back up towards the north way where I did say later on tonight is run the lights which is 6.2 miles. I don't know how much uh, of it you'll see because I've been out quite a while and I don't want to make this video too long. But yeah, I've enjoyed that walk. A few miles walk. And the sun's going down now. And at the moment, it's behind some clouds, but as this sun goes down, I think we could get a good sunset. But it's just behind some clouds at the moment, but as it lowers, so let's see if we can capture a good sunset, shall we? Sunset. Is it a sunset? There's Central pier there.
I mean, as you're all aware, Blackburn's not far away. It's under an hour away. But it's a midweek game and people have to work or people have to work late at night and they can't come. But let's just see what a uh, midweek game is going to be like. Anyway, it's time for me to sit down now on the grass and wait for the crowds to gather. Certainly getting busier down here now. Everybody's behaving themselves. Anyway, we'll have a walk down towards the football ground now to show you some of the living road badly run down. Yeah, 
yeah, nothing like a it's nothing like a Saturday game. There'll be a few thousand people here, but it's all spread out because people arrive at different times. You've got to remember when I've done the Derby one, it's the weekend. So everybody travels up in the morning, spends the day in Blackpool before going to the football ground, so it's slightly different. Which I knew anyway. Just wanted to show you a weekday one. Come out. Yeah, this is Lytham Road anyway. continuing flow of the Blackpool supporters arriving here and then across the road you've got the Blackburn supporters all queuing and only one entrance to get in so that creates a bit of a backlog as you can see and it's all well controlled Yep, for those that are interested, that sun is dropping now. We're just between Central Pier and North Pier. I'll keep turning around for you. There you go. Yeah, about another 10 minutes, that's going to be a brilliant sunset. people around now we're getting close to run the lights tonight beautiful sunset absolutely fantastic sunset got to go back again and look at it again it's fantastic look at that so I don't know if you can see the new illuminations there Slightly different design on the top there. It's probably not quite dark enough yet. And this is the start of Run the Lights up here. I think it's going to be a while before we get the crowds from the start. So I may not catch it because this video is going to be too long for you otherwise. And I'm probably going to have to stay out here a lot longer. But you see the kind of atmosphere that's going on. Look at it. Wheat night. Wheat night in Blackpool. Nothing kind of usual. This is what we do in Blackpool. The wall past this bit because there's no music playing. Yeah, and this, is, this is the start here. Yeah, just a quiet midweek in Blackpool. So there's a starting point and a finishing point. Like I said, the total length of the lights is 6.2 miles. How long this run the lights is, I don't know. Whether it's a full length or not, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it there. 
I know you haven't seen any of the runners, but we're probably another half hour away from that. No doubt somebody will be covering it. My main aim tonight was to come out just to go down to Blackpool Football Club to show you the uh, supporters arriving and uh, a little walk along the front. It's getting a bit blowy now, so I don't even know if you can hear me properly. But there you go. There's that sun going down there. Look at that now. Cross this road here. Sun's gone down now, but I can show you the skyline. <laughs> Just North Pier there. Right, I am going to go now. So, I'm sorry there's no coverage on Run the Lights, but uh, I did actually initially come out just for a general walk and to go down to the football club and show you that. I'm sure you'll enjoy what I've done anyway. There'll be somebody out there doing the... Uh, somebody out there will be doing the Run the Lights. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much. I do hope you enjoyed this one. Um, just one final word, thank you to all the new subscribers, all the lovely comments and all the people that view my channel. It's all done just purely for me to exercise and get out there and try and give some people some entertainment. Thank you all again. Take care and we'll see you again soon.